Today I am modifying an air intake grill with an improved mesh for better airflow. Where I live, leaves are a problem in that they can get stuck in the cabin air intake vent. There are vent covers that are sold that fit over the vent opening. The design of the plastic air intake cover uses small holes on the surface for air to flow through. However, the holes don't align correctly with the front maintenance panel and they are kind of small. Let me remove the existing plastic cover off of the intake vent and show you. It happens to be attached by double-sided 3M tape. Without this cover, I had problems with lots of leaves and debris filling up this intake area. I had comments in my previous video on installing this cover that the air vents are too small and may cause the car's HVAC fan to work harder than it should have to. This is a stainless steel mesh that allows 74% of the air to flow through the 4.5 millimeter openings. I purchased a piece that was just under 24 inches by 11 inches, which is just a little longer than the plastic cover. With the mesh over the cover, you can clearly see that much more air will flow through. Let me flatten out the wire mesh since it is folded to fit into the box. I just put a piece of paper on it and hammer it out a bit. Now it's good enough to use. The first thing I will do is place the cover over the mesh so that I can make sure that it extends over the cover. I try to do this in a way that reduces the amount of cutting. I'll place a section of cardboard underneath to protect the work surface. I'll put some blue painter's tape on the mesh. It makes it easier to mark with a pen. Then make an outline all around the outside on the blue tape with a pen. Now move the cover away from the mesh. Then using shears, I cut along the line and go around the perimeter. I made it so that the mesh just goes over the edges of the cover. Once the mesh is cut, I make sure it fits nicely over the cover. Now I will place the mesh aside for the next part. Next I need to cut the plastic cover so just a frame or outline is remaining. I turn the cover over so that the bump outside is on top. I use a Dremel tool and cut along the inside of the plastic frame. I try to get as close to the edge and the first hole and go around the entire cover. Now I can pop out the center area. Remove any loose pieces of plastic and use some sandpaper to smooth the edges. If you don't have the plastic cover like I have, you could just use the mesh directly on the vent opening. You could remove the car's cabin intake trim piece and do a similar process to what I'm doing next. Place the wire mesh over the plastic frame and make sure all the edges are covered. The mesh has some flexibility.
I'm going to use a hot glue gun and that's going to attach the metal mesh onto the plastic cover. The frame is a little flimsy now, so I temporarily place the cutout piece of plastic back in and attach some tape to keep it in place for the next step. I used a hot glue gun and went along the entire outside edge. Use enough glue so that it coats the mesh and plastic underneath. It takes a few minutes for it to cool and solidify. So while it is cooling, keep pressing down on the mesh so that it stays close to the plastic. Once one area cools, go on to the next section until the entire area is glued down. Since the air flows through from the top, it will keep the wire pressed to the plastic. So over time, there should not be any issues of it loosening. Now let's get a close up look at the area that I used the hot glue gun on. There are some areas where the wire sticks out a little bit. You can easily trim those off if you like. And now that everything is dry, I will remove the blue pinners tape and remove the center section that was there just to keep the form of the outline. You can clean up any extra pieces of glue that are going over the edges. I let the glue dry for about an hour and make sure that it's attached very well. And I'm going to place the modified cover back into the vent opening. The double-sided 3M tape was still sticky and adheres to the opening. I feel that this is a better design that will allow good airflow while still keeping leaves and pollen out of the HVAC intake. Like I mentioned before, if you don't have one of these plastic vent covers, you could easily just buy this mesh, cut it to shape, and insert it in this opening. Let me know if you have any other ideas or comments about this modification in the comment area below. I left links for the mesh, the cover, and the Dremel tool in the video description. Don't forget to reinstall the frunk maintenance panel and you're done. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.